Good afternoon once again YouTubers. Uh, today we have uh, something again that's a little bit out of my norm. This is a four-speed orthophonic high-fidelity RCA player. Uh, this is an 8HFP1 and uh, it's obviously a suitcase type player as you can clearly see along the side. Let me show you that side, the face, this side here and uh, let's take an opener up and we'll take a peek inside. Clearly there it is, RCA High Fidelity and down in the corner of the tag for the 8HFP1. This is an RP205 changer. Um, this was a very popular changer uh, made by RCA and it features a hi-fi amplifier. It's a 3-tube amp with 250 C5s and push-pull configuration and driven by a 12AX7. So this has all been rebuilt. The amplifier has been rebuilt. We uh, put a new cartridge in here. This is a Sonotone 52T that's been bridged for mono because this is a monophonic unit. It's monophonic high fidelity, not stereo high fidelity. And uh, of course we have loudness control, bass control, treble control, our four speeds, the place for the 45 adapter. So let's play a couple of records here. The first one we're going to play, and remember now that this is not for the content of the music, but rather to demonstrate how the player works. This is on a TRX label. It's called Gene, or excuse me, it's called Playboy by Gene and Debbie. So let's uh, put it down here and note that we have a neutral position here, which is kind of nice. So we can take the pressure off the idler. Of course, all the turrets have been rebuilt here too. So let's go to the 45 side. And let's get her up and going. shut down. This thing has either a 6 or 8 inch speaker in the front as a woofer and a couple of uh, 
tweeters on the side here. So there's a total of three speakers in there with a crossover network. So that being said, let's put this back into the neutral position for just a second. We're going to flip this back on um, and let's take this out of here. So let's remove the 45 adapter. I'm going to put that in here and I'm going to pull out the, the uh, 45 obviously. And we're going to be adventurous. No pun here. <laughs> This is kind of a scarce album by The Ventures. Uh, it's actually a very nice um, album called uh, Super Psychedelics by The Ventures. And um, again, this is going to be played on 33, not for the content of the music, but rather to demonstrate it. So here we go, we're putting it into place. Let's turn this to the 33 position and get her up and going. Reject it. In which case, we can see this thing just go into the uh, neutral position here and stop. And there we go. So this is really something that I don't collect. Um, this is actually for sale. I offered this first to Sal Euro. So uh, Sal gets the first uh, the first uh, bid on this thing here. <laughs> Uh, I promised it to him if he wanted it, but uh, I told him I wanted to take a video just to show him what it looks like and the condition that it's in. Uh, as far as suitcase type players go, this is actually pretty clean. I mean, I've gone through a lot of suitcase players in my life, but um, <laughs> they can be pretty nasty. This bastard is heavy, much heavier than I expected, and it's big too. Uh, but it sounds good. You know, it's, it's an orthophonic hi-fi, and, and all the RCA orthophonics sound good. So there it is, another beautiful piece of 50s history. This is around 1956, 57, somewhere in there. And um, Sal, there you go. Just let me know if it's up your alley here or not. Hope you appreciated seeing something else again from the 50s. Have a great day now.